Hey boys and girls, welcome to our children's moment uh, for, uh, for this Sunday, um, March 29th, and um, today I'd like to share with you a story about um, Jesus and his disciples, and they're out on a boat, um, so I'm going to read you this verse. It's from our scripture for today, it's from Luke 8, uh, 22 to 25. Uh, it says... Jesus calms the storm. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake, which is like a really bad storm, uh, so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him up saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters, and the storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? Jesus asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. So today, I want to talk a little bit about storms. I want you to think to yourself, um, if you've ever been in... A bad storm before uh, could have been um, like a like a bad thunderstorm in the summertime or um, I guess a really bad blizzard or if you're ever in a place where you experienced a hurricane or a tornado or anything like that so I want you to think about a time <clears throat> you were uh, in a storm in life and and how did how did that make you feel and um, a lot of times when we have scary things happen, storms around us, uh, we, can, we can feel scared and worried and anxious and afraid. But, uh, but uh, the important thing to remember is that, that God is, is with us and he's, he's um, watching over us. Um, sometimes we wonder when storms or difficult things happen in life. Um, uh, like why God uh, allows things to happen uh, and why God doesn't come and, and fix things uh, right away. Um, and um, But in this story, like in life, Jesus is, is with us and he's there with us every step of the way, even when we don't necessarily sense him all the time. He's there with us, guiding us, um, and he's there to calm the storms in life. Um, so... Um, just like his disciples, uh, you know, on the boat, um, they kind of, they, they waited till it got really bad, uh, before they finally woke Jesus up. They're like, Jesus, we're going to drown. The boat's going to sink. And then Jesus calmed everything in the storm. But, um, the disciples, what they did first, their first response to fear was, was worry and trying to do things on their own. And, and when they reached out to Jesus, he made everything better. He fixed everything. He calmed the storm. So in what ways, I guess you can think about this week, in what ways can we trust God uh, more during this uh, time where we're going through a little bit of a storm uh, ourselves with this uh, coronavirus and everything else and having to stay home? Uh, but in what ways can we reach out to God? We can, we can pray right to him. We can, we can read the Bible, right? We can... We can help mom and dad, uh, brothers, and si brothers and sisters, right? So there's a lot of things we can do to connect with God and remember that God is there and he loves us and uh, he's with us all the time. And so I encourage you guys to think about that this week. And let's, let's close in prayer real quick. Dear God, we thank you for uh, sending your son Jesus to calm the storms in life. We pray that when we feel worried or afraid, that we would trust in you, Lord, and let you guide us and calm the storms in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless, guys. We'll see you next week.